In this video, we are going to learn how to create a brand new Google site. So to start a new Google site, we're first going to open up our drive and in the top left, click on that new button and then Google sites are down under the more section. And we'll click on Google sites and it will open up a blank template just like this. And we are going to go over kind of the basics of setting up your Google site in this video. And on the top left is where you'll want to name your site, whatever you want to call it. And once you give it a name and click off, it'll automatically give that title in your actual website. So you can see that in the top left corner. And then over on the right is the themes page and Google has some kind of basic themes. And what we're looking for here are what you want for fonts and colors because you can change that background image. So you can go through and check out the different fonts and the color options that are there for each of these themes and check uh, font styles, colors, and pick which one you would like. And then once you have the version um, that fits your website style, you can go over and change that background image or how your banner looks. So these are the options for your cover banner. You can have it be full page or just a large banner or kind of this regular banner size, or you can just have your page be a title only. So we're gonna stick with that large banner and then you can change that image. You can have it be um, an image that you choose that you upload. You can click here and choose an image from Google or search the web or access your Google Drive. So we're just gonna pick this um, option from Google. And then you can type in a welcome message or the name of your website since right now we are on the home page. So we've got our website title and we're gonna change this to a nice welcome message. You can change some of the font options in that hover menu above that you saw. And over on the left side, there will be kind of this trash can that hovers there that follows you around um, as you start to build things in your website. Then over on the right, there's a little icon that shows up that's um, adjusting for readability. And that will adjust your background image so that you can read that title if you click on that. So uh, there's a menu that pops up for adding a logo. This is a kind of a nice little feature if you have a little logo or an avatar image for yourself um, that you would like to go with your website title. So I do have an avatar image and so I'm going to insert this logo here. I'm gonna bring it up in my drive. And once I have that, I can click on it and select and it will pop up in my website. Once I find it and insert it and there it shows up in the top left corner. You can also add this so that it will be in the tab for your website, which is a really nice feature as well. So it's called a favicon. Um, so I'm going to follow the exact same steps and find that avatar or logo that you want to be associated with your website. And so this will be instead of the Google Sites logo in the tab for your website, it will be your personal logo or avatar like this. And so once you publish your website, it will show up, which you'll be able to see in our tutorial on publishing your website. So I've now added that over here in this um, menu that shows up with some settings. And there's also this nice little take a tour. So anytime that you might feel lost in the Google Sites, there's this short brief tour to show you where the features are, like where to add content and the fact that you can move things around by dragging and dropping. And then there's that nice little share button for working with others and ultimately that publish button in the top right. So this is the first in our series on Google Sites, so check out the rest of our videos. Don't forget to subscribe to the EdTech Team YouTube channel and check out the next video in our playlist.